Hey y'all, Billy here from Strong's Adventures. Rhonda and I get this question all the time. How many pieces of coal do I need to put on my Dutch oven to reach a certain temperature? You're in luck. That's why we put this super cool video together for you. And if you hang around to the end, you're gonna get one of my super secret tips that I use. And if you like what we're doing here, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notifications every time we put out a really cool video like this one. Okay, for this demonstration, we are going to assume that our recipe calls for a 12 inch Dutch oven and that it needs to bake at 350 for about 30 minutes. First, we need to take the size of our oven and multiply that by two. That gives us the amount of coals we need. In this case, it's 24. When you bake something in a Dutch oven, most of the heat needs to be on the lid. So we're going to need to put two thirds of our coals on the lid. So let's put eight coals on the bottom and then the other 16 will need to be placed evenly around the lid. This is how we get cakes and breads a nice golden brown without burning the bottom. With roasting, we divide our 24 coals in half. We need to place 12 on the bottom and then 12 on the top. This helps everything cook more evenly. These recipes usually have liquid in them like water or broth. The liquid steams the vegetables and keeps everything from burning. When you're cooking a stew or a soup, you want to simmer. For this, we're going to divide our 24 coals into thirds. Only this time, we want two thirds of the coals on the bottom, and the remaining eight will need to be evenly placed around the lid. Lastly, a recipe may call for you to brown some ground beef or fry some bacon. For this, we need to put all of the heat on the bottom. This is also referred to as a full spread. Usually, this is the first step in a recipe. So after your pile of coals turn white, just flatten that out, put your pot on top of the coals, brown your hamburger meat or your bacon, remove from the pot, and then scrape those over to the side. And then you can just count your coals that you need for the bottom and then build the rest of your recipe and bake it the way you need. Billy wanted to show y'all an app that's in the App Store. Just type in Dutch oven and it should pop up for you. It's this blue icon that looks like a Dutch oven and it's a free app. So let's open it up and you can see it's very easy to toggle what size oven you have to what temperature you need to cook at and so on. Let's put it on 12 inch at 350 for bake like we did in our example earlier. You can see here at the top that it says we need 24 coals. It's easy to change the settings to reflect whatever size oven you have and to whatever temperature your recipe is calling for. Hey y'all, thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope that super cool tip I just gave you really helps you out. Don't forget, ain't no lovin' like Dutch oven lovin'. Go buy a Dutch oven and get to cooking.